Hello students. So in this session we are going to discuss about advantages of database management system. So before going to know about the database management system's advantages, why we need that one database management system, we need to know. So before introduction of a database management system, we are using a file management system. So in that one we are going to with the help of different file formats we are storing the data suppose just imagine if you are store uh, if you want to store any details in that particular time just imagine or just take an example like no, with the help of notepad we are storing a data so then with the help of either it may be a c c plus plus with the help of that we are accessing the notepad data then we are inserting we are deleting either it may be any task we are performing so because of that one uh, while we are using the file management system we are faced with some set of uh, disadvantages or some drawbacks we have faced so as a solution for that all those disadvantages so the database in management system finds out or given us some solutions to that one what are the advantages of a database management system first one controlling redundancy second one restricting unauthorized user third one providing persistent storage for program objects and data structure fourth one providing multiple users interfaces fifth one representing complex relationship among data sixth one enforcing integrity constraint last one providing backup and recovery we'll discuss the first advantages of database management system that one is nothing but controlling redundancy redundancy nothing but that same that same set of data we are storing it in, in a multiple locations that one is the main disadvantages we are faced in a case of file management system. So in our different locations we are storing different set of data. So, so each and every time we are accessing in a sense if we didn't get any data we are again we have to store it in a different locations and all. So there is no link because of that one multiple data are st stored in a file or in a locations or in a system. So to overcome these details we have find solutions in a database management system. So that one is nothing but uh, controlling redundancy. Second one, restricting unauthorized access. So unauthorized access is nothing but. So when it will be phased. So same database are accessed by multiple users. So in case of multiple users accessing the same database, we will face some set of problems. Just imagine employee deta details like employee's personal details like employee number, employee name, designation other than that one so he's in the database if we store some other details and all. So some employees only to know about the employees, employee number, employee name and designation so in that particular time no need to uh, uh, give access to entire database for that particular user. So that particular user only uh, authorized to uh, access the details about the employees like employee number, employee name and designations. So in these cases and all, that one is a simple just example. So similar like that one, so entire database we are not giving, uh, for entire database we are not giving any access to our, all users. So in that particular time, file management system we are not able to uh, uh, achieve this particular concept, nothing but restricting unauthorized user. So, but as a solution in a database management system that we are achieved this particular concept, nothing but unauthorized user access now we are restricting. Third one, providing persistent storage for program objects and data structure. So with this particular concept in a database management system, we can store any size of data with the any persistence. So we can store any set of data, we can store it in a database management system. That one is the third advantages of a database management system over a file management system. Fourth one, providing multiple user interfaces. So after creating a database, after collecting the data and all after uh, with the help of database management system, we need uh, we need some medium or some we need some uh, um, interfaces to access these details which are stored in a database. Here also we have different set of uh, users that one we are going to discuss in the next sessions and all. So in a database system, database management system also contain different set of users. So for a different set of users, we have different set of interfaces in a database management system. So the first one query language interface for a casual user so to those who are accessing the database for casual uh, reasons and all for them they we have a uh, query language interface 
Next one, the, pro, uh, the application programmers, those who are developing applications for uh, some set of reasons, for them we have a programming language interface, so that one is the second one. Next one, as a third one, we have forms and command codes for a parametric user. So those who are comes under a parametric user category, they have a forms and command codes. Last one, menu driven interface and natural language interface for a standalone users. So those who will come under standalone user category, for them we have a menu driven interface and natural language interface. Similar way, from this one we will come to know that one, in a file management system we, we didn't had any uh, uh, interfaces to access, either it may be accessing the data it may be, or either it may be inserting the data, or either it may be managing the data. So, but in a case of database management system, we have for a different types of users, we have a different types of forms and all. With that one, they can easily manipulate, we can define, we can create the database, we can store the details from a, in a database. That one is the fourth advantage. Fifth one, representing complex relationship among data. So each and every data may contain, so from one data which are there in a one field may relate it to another field. So in that particular time, so in a file management system we are not able to link, we are not able to provide a link between these details. But in case of um, um, database management system, we can provide link between these data, then we can represent or we can manipulate uh, different uh, sets of uh, relations or uh, uh, the relation between uh, data. Database must uh, have the capability to represent the um, variety of complex relationship among the data as well as to retrieve and update the related data easily and efficiently. So this one is the fifth advantages of a database management system. So. Next one, enforcing integrity constraint. So integrity constraint nothing but we are forcing some uh, conditions or we are forcing some constraint for that one. So just imagine for a uh, employee, if you want to recruit that particular person as a employee in a sense, he must be a uh, uh, major, nothing but he, uh, his age should be a 18 or greater than 18. So if we provide, if you specify some constraint for that one, so only those who are 18 or larger than 18 they can uh, these details can be inserted in a employee details but these feature we not have in a case of file management system so that one is the uh, one more disadvantages of a file management system nothing but we are not able to force a enforcing integrity constraint but that one is possible in a case of database management system last advantages of a database management system nothing but providing backup and recovery so to create a database we have a database management system in that one we are provided each and every module so each and every module is coded with the different set of cores that one will perform some set of tasks specifically nothing but, nothing but definition of a database nothing but creates the database manipulating nothing but it manipulates it retrieving nothing but it retrieves the data similar way we have we have a facility to get a data backup and recovery in case of hardware and software failures this one is the main disadvantages in a case of file management system but we are overcoming that particular disadvantage in a database management system so from considering all these seven advantages of a database management system compared to a file management system database management system is the better one so that's why database management system contains this much uh, uh, speciality or this must be to, to store a data in a memory or in a case of digitization. Thank you. So in the next session we are going to discuss about different database users. Thank you.